Hello everybody and welcome back to your ninth Java Beginners Game Development Tutorial. And uh, last time we left off we had our collisions work working decently well. And uh, our jumping was a bit off so today I want to fix up the jumping. Collisions still have a bit of work to do. You can see we can come in through the side. And uh, there's actually a couple of hidden problems that we didn't solve last time. Uh, with our collisions. So if we just print out falling. Uh, you shall see that it doesn't actually detect it properly. And uh, that's a problem because we're going to have to use this falling for some other stuff in the future. So we're going to fix up our collisions a little bit more and then we'll fix up our jumping today. And uh, yeah, it might be a slightly longer tutorial. We'll see how we go. But um, there's a couple of things we just want to fix up with bugs. And uh, then we can keep adding stuff to the game. So. To begin with, what we're going to say is falling is going to be false all the time. We're not going to have this if fail y squared and so if we collide with the platform, falling is false. And uh, to fix the problem we had last time, where if we see if we just have this falling equals false. Uh, when we come over to this, it's going to give us some problems where we kind of stop for a second. And uh, that's an easy fix. We just set falling to true if fail y is less than zero. And now we can see that it works a little bit nice. Uh, we are falling through the ground, which is okay. All we have to say to fix that now is if fail y is greater than zero, we're going to set fail y to equal zero. And um, y equals p dot the platform y minus the height. And uh, if we do this, there's going to be a problem still. And by system dot out dot print line falling, you'll see it uh, still is not detecting it properly, and that is because I believe you can see that our fill y is all over the place. And uh, that's because it keeps putting us up, and then we fall a bit, and it puts us up. So all we're going to do is just plus uh, 1 on 2 there. And hopefully that just puts us close enough that our collision detects it. And because uh, before what was happening is we pushed ourselves too high, and our collision wasn't detecting it. So then we started falling again, and we pushed ourselves up, and it kept happening. So if we just plus one on there, it's a bit of a cheat, but it's an easy fix. And you can see that our collisions are now working perfectly. And it's really nice. Fantastic. So now we're just going to work on the jumping a little bit. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to come into keyboard handler. And over here, instead of saying if y is equal to zero, uh, what we're going to do is actually create a boolean cord uh, jump jumpable and that's equal to false. And so in collisions, we're going to say mm, tch, 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 underneath here. So we'll just uh, comment this and say. Um, collision detection for platform future collision detection for platform and what we're going to do is we're actually going to check if a couple of seconds in the future if we're going to hit the platform and then if that's true we're going to set jumpable uh, to be true and then uh, that just gives us a couple of seconds where even though we're not technically on the platform We'll still be able to jump and that's uh it just makes for nicer controls and it's uh it's something that games generally speaking should incorporate so what we're going to do is um basically just copy this out we're just going to say plus fill y and we'll make a uh we'll make an int chord future seconds or maybe we'll make it we'll make it a float um or maybe collision time 
detection seconds. And we'll just set that to equal to maybe three. Or instead of ticks, it should be. So it should be ticks, not seconds. And uh, so we'll come down here. And what we'll do is we'll just times for y by that. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, we'll just have to put that in the brackets. And we're also going to have to incorporate well x, which uh, we should probably be doing anyways, to be honest. And then we'll just surround these. And uh, we can actually just get rid of that. Fantastic. So let's just check if this is working. Okay, we might have to increase the ticks slightly. Fantastic, I think it's working. And so all we're going to say is jump of all equals true. Um, and up here at the start of collisions, jump of all equals false. <clears throat> awesome. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, awesome. So if we come into keyboard handler, we can just change this to be if it is jumpable. And so if we give it a go. Okay, you can see it is working, but it's a bit much at the moment. <laughs> we don't want to be able to jump that high. Um, so maybe we'll say 20, and we'll actually add in another condition that y, y minus p dot y is less than 10. Of the new word there. And, uh, Okay, we'll turn it down a bit. Um, if Y, okay, let's go with that. Let's put this down. And uh, the other thing we're going to say is, if uh, if we're not falling, all that. Okay. these in parentheses. So I'm just messing around a bit. Um, I think what we'll say as well maybe is if 
uh, the difference, so math.absolute, so the difference between the player.y, or our y, and platform.y, Um, plus height is less than, we'll say 10. Awesome. That seems a little bit nicer. Kind of jump around a bit easier. We can uh, come in and edit this towards the end. I just want to set up the basics of it. Uh, but we'll have a tutorial at the end, uh, just fixing up some of the variables and making this a bit nicer. But for now, that's all I wanted to work on. And uh, the other thing, uh, as far as collisions are concerned um i don't want to be able to come through the side which is what we're currently doing uh also actually hold on we're just going to spawn play a little further down because currently we spawn in the platform and it's a little bit of a pain and we can also bring uh our platforms here down a little bit i think Alrighty, so I'm liking the jumping, it's good. Um, yeah, so we don't want to be able to come through the side. Which we're currently able to do. Put the wrong platforms down. Uh, oh. oh, what am I doing? There we are. Let's just set it back to how it was. Um, yeah, so currently we can go through the side, which I don't really want. So what we're going to just say here is... To simply say... A collision's only going to be recorded... So this is what happens to stop us falling, and this is to bounce us off that one on top. And so we only want to stop falling if um, uh, if 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 e well y minus i it's less than p dot y, less than or equal to p dot y, and I believe it's going to be plus one because well, we can give it a go without plus one. Okay, it seems to work. Let me come in here. Huh. Okay, that's not stopping us. Why is that not stopping? If y minus height is less than or equal to p dot y, it should be plus height. Oh, and okay, we do fall through. And uh, the reason we're falling through is because actually our y is normally p, p dot y minus height plus one. So we're normally one over the line, just so we're detecting the collisions properly. Which is fine, but we'll just add that offset up here. Okay, there we are. 
fantastic so you can see it is working so we bounce off there we come through the side nothing really happens and we can just say uh, else bell x equals zero so we should just stop moving in the x direction if we hit the side and you can see it works Awesome. So our, uh, ah, except if we hit the underside, ah, uh, if we hit the underside, we have a problem. Okay, so the uh, way we're going to fix this is actually to just say if y is less than p dot y. So we only want to set for x to equal 0 if uh, the player's y is actually less than the platform y. And that means that we are hitting it from the side, not from underneath. Because if we're underneath, obviously, y is going to be greater than p dot y. From the side, that's not necessarily true. So if we come in from the side, uh, we stop. And if we come in underneath, you can see that it's working. So I think that's pretty much it for today. Uh, maybe one more thing that we might look at. The jumping still feeling a little off to me. Um, so we'll come into keyboard handler. And what we'll say, we're going to make a boolean called w down. And we just set w down to equal true. And when the key is released, w down equals false. And in player, we are just going to say. So here we'll say handle jumping uh, if w dot level dot w down oh whoops uh no not dot, sorry not dot level dot uh e but not that's oh, private uh we can make it public Fantastic. And if we come into player and just say w dot k listener dot w down and jump ball and we'll just say y equals negative jump velocity. Boy, uh, jumpable equals false, maybe. What is happening here? Oh, uh, bell y equals negative jump velocity, not y. And that feels much more responsive to me. Awesome. Fantastic. Alrighty guys, I think that's it for today's uh, tutorial. I think we've made some good progress on the game. A lot of background stuff today, uh, nothing too flashy, but I think next time we will begin some of the more flashy stuff. And uh, there's something a bit weird going on there. Oh, well, why is being reversed? Hmm.
Let's just include that there. Yeah, that's a bit better. Alrighty, I'm sure we're going to find more bugs with it in a bit. Uh, if you do, just leave them down below and uh, we'll try and fix them up. Uh, but for now, I think this is a good place to leave it for the tutorial. And uh, yeah, as I was saying, we've made great work. And uh, I think next time we're going to work on the spike, make it actually do some stuff. Maybe make the level a little bit nicer. Maybe, maybe random generation. We'll see. But we're getting to the stage where we can actually start working properly on an actual kind of game. Currently, we just kind of have an engine. Um, but yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, comment down below. Like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff. And uh, th thanks for watching. See you next time. See ya.